So Google has changed their security for their Gmail application by removing the feature Less Secure App Access. For some of the Canon MFPs, this feature would allow the machines to be able to send emails. By removing this feature, some accounts may not be able to send emails. So when they try to send emails, they'll end up getting an error code. It shows a pound 389 code, which is an SMTP authentication error. The username and password will work on a computer. If we check the settings, we'll log into the device's administrator. And go to Settings and Registration, Device Settings, Function Settings, Send, Email IFAC Settings, Communication Settings. Here we can see the SMTP server is set for Gmail of smtp.gmail.com. We have our email address for our device. When we go down to the authentication and encryption, we have allow, TS, TL, sorry, allow TLS SMTP TX is set to on. And under SMTP authentication is set on our username, which is the full Gmail address for sending. And then the password that you usually get into Gmail. That usually works fine. We also make sure that we have specified the port number for SMTP TX and that should be at 587. So as a workaround, the owner of the Gmail account would have to enable two-step verification and would have to generate an app password that can be used in place of the regular password. So first thing you have to do is make sure that two-step verification is turned on. So you have to log into your Gmail account and under your Gmail account go to manage your account And under security on the left, you can see we had the recent security activity, less suspicious attempts, sign in from a less secure app. That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll go down to here under two-step verification. You can see it is turned off. So we're going to take and click that. And do you want to get started? Yes. <clears throat> so Got to log in with our Gmail password. And you'll see there's a phone number for your, your cell phone. It'll take and send a text message to. So we press next. You should receive a code. And enter that code that Google sends you. and then turn on your two-step verification. And you're all done for two-step verification. So we're not quite done here. So now you'll see signing into Google, we have a two-step verification. And now we have a thing called app passwords. Remember, there are none created right now. So we'll select that one. Again, log in with your password for Google for Gmail, for that account. And under here we have select app and select the drop down. And we got mail, calendar, contacts, YouTube, and other custom name, which is the one we want. So we select that one and then create a dummy name for it. So I'm just gonna use it for my devices. Just call it Canon MFP and select generate. And now it's going to display a code that we're going to take and use in place of our usual password that we have for our Gmail account. So write that down. It doesn't show you that later on. 
don't have to write mine down. Mine will disappear when I'm done here. So that's it you have to do from the Google site. So now that we have the app password, let's log into the machine under the administrator account. And go to settings and registration, device settings, function settings, send, email and IFAC settings, and communication settings. So we've still got our standard stuff in there. So what we want is go to authentication and encryption. And under the password is what we're going to change. So clear out the previous one and put in the new one that you had copied, which I hope you did, from when you created your app password. Mine will not work for you because I've erased it. Of course, like anything, you got to take and put it in twice. And you don't have to worry about it being upper or lower case, so take both of them. Now we just press OK, press OK, and close. So now we can go to the machine. <clears throat> go to scan and oops, sorry, go to scan and send. Set up our email address. Scan. Go to our status monitor. See it's sending, and it's done. So it's happy with that lovely little app password. You can also. Do it through the RIUI by logging in as the administrator. And go to Settings and Registration, Function Settings, Send. This is where it's slightly different. We call it Network Settings, Email, IFAC Settings. And you can see you have our SMTP or email address, our port numbers right there. So we'll scroll down and then you see there's the SMTP authentication, the SMTP authent, then we got our username, and we can go into change password, and we can enter the uh, the password that we got from our app password generation. And then after that, just press go up here and press OK. You can also click check SMTP connection to make sure that it does work. And it will take a few seconds for it to pop up and say successful. Now you'll be able to send email using the Gmail account attached to your Canon MFPs.